What's going on, everybody? Today, I'm doing a review on this absolutely amazing vehicle add-on called Traffic. You ready to get into it? Let's go. Okay, so here we are. I have a little environment that I have set up already. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go, if you're not sure of how to open up your sidebar, you're going to hit the end button. And down here for Polyneak is where the traffic add-on is set. So it's so simple. I mean, this is, <laughs> this shouldn't even be legal. So you'll just hit spawn asset. You'll go through your categories of which vehicles you'd like. And in our instance, I'm going to use sports cars and I'm going to bring in this, uh, let's see. I love Ferrari. So let's bring in uh, four, five, eight. And here you're going to click make editable. So the rig is already there. You're going to use your traffic controls, which we definitely want. And we want to support lights because with traffic, you can turn the lights off and on. So let me just show you. Click OK and boom. Just like that, your vehicle is in the scene. So what we want to do next is we're going to take our ground. We're going to set our ground to the sidewalk and then just click on set ground object for all. And just like that, your vehicle snaps to the ground. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so cool. I'm just gonna assume that you have knowledge of how a rig works. And I'm gonna just show you the benefits of this traffic add-on. So I've already have a path set here. And this is how simple this add-on is. So we're gonna go, we already have everything selected with our hierarchy and to follow a path, you're simply gonna just select this path and then you're gonna hit follow path. It's gonna, you're gonna get this prompt and just click okay. And then you're gonna change, uh, we're gonna go 70, we're gonna do 70 frames so you just change that, make sure that's changed and do the same thing for your wheel rotation. It automatically bakes your wheel rotation in your steering. And just like that. <laughs> it wasn't that simple. Your wheels are already, you know, they're rotating. No, I got this is so, so amazing. Also, you can change your speed. You can change the speed right here. You know, it's just as simple as adjusting these sliders and it's going to tell you let's see we go we want to go faster you see how it breaks down your frames and it tells you your duration in order to go this mod you know this speed so you would adjust your frames down here to 99 obviously to 99 99 and then hit follow path again it'll change it and then you're going to just like we did before for your steering and your wheel rotation, make it fit. You can still stop your animation at 70. This is just, the 99 is just for you to make the adjustment for your speed. You know, the more uh, frames, the more frames equals more seconds, right? So the, the amount of time that it takes to travel from A to B, if you have more frames and it takes longer, that means you're going slower. So it's, it's more about math. There's a whole equation that I learned from Gene Yan, 3D on how to calculate speed, but you could use launch pad, excuse me. There are other ways of doing it, but this is an amazing shortcut if you already understand the concept of distance and speed. So. The car is traveling slower now. All right. So the next thing I want to show you guys, which is so amazing about these, uh, about this add on is let's select the, the, the hierarchy. So we get access to everything, you know, everything. <laughs> okay. Let's get rid of our ground sensors. Cause we have our ground set already. Oh, you know what? Let's go back real quick. I want to show you something that's really cool. You see how the car, <laughs> It goes up on the sidewalk because the ground sensor is on the vehicle. So any displacement, anything you have it ride over, it's gonna, it's, it, it's just <laughs> amazing how it, how it does that. So that's a whole nother tutorial on car animations. 
But real quick, let's go into this. Let me zoom in. Let's get a better frame, shift, control, alt, zero, frame it up. Okay, we need to be head on. And watch this. I'm gonna show you how you can change your lights on here. So we're gonna go park and then hit set. Let me go in here to bring our render up uh, 0.1, our render speed up, and just go to 2048 for the sake of speed, and F12 so I can show you what this looks like with the park lights on. That is gorgeous. Let's wait for it to finish rendering. Oh man, that is beautiful. Let's change the slot so I can show you another one. Uh, let's, let's go over here to low beam, hit set, and then F12. Now you have the low beams on. A let's see the difference between slot one. Slot one, you see the part, the lighting is just pretty much here. Slot two, the low beams, they're projecting out farther. Let's see something. Let's change into a night so you can get a better view of, uh, we can get a better idea of uh, what the lights look like. So let's, let's re-render this. Now, one thing I, that I have, an issue that I have with the lights when I render it is you see these artifacts down here on the ground. I just wish it would be clearer, but I'm almost certain if I increase my, um, my samples, let's, let's put our samples up to 40, 96 times 2, 96 and 96 is 194. So 8194, let's go to 8194. Matter of fact, let's just do 10,000 samples. And try it again and see if we get a different, anything different. It's still there. I don't know. I'm going to work on that and come up with a resolution for that. But as you can see, you see the headlights there. Slot one. Let's go back and um, hmm. lights, lights. I should be able to just click on the lights. Let's go to high beam set. And let's check it out. Let me let's drop these samples down just since we already know it doesn't really change anything. Um, and use with the high beams on, so you, you can actually see that the display on the ground is a bit brighter. The lights, I mean, just the ability to turn your lights off and on is amazing. All right, now let's go back and let's. Go back to the daytime because I want to show you the next feature that I really that I really enjoy about this vehicle is you have your wear sliders, right? So where are we? Our wear sliders right here. You can slide these up and add dirt, add scratches to your vehicle. You can already see that the dirt is um, generating on the vehicle. Oh my goodness. So let's say you're doing a scene and it's raining, it's muddy or whatever the case may be. And obviously, if you've got dirt on your vehicle, you're going to have scratches on your vehicle because, you know, just from things hitting on your car and you see the scratches down here. <laughs> That's so dope. And you can even add bumps and dings and dents. So let's say you crashed a couple of times or you bumped into some stuff. You know, yeah. 
And you can also select things individually. And you see how you can take the dirt off and on? Take the scratches off and on of the tire itself individually. So it's like you don't have to select the entire hierarchy. I just tend to because I think it just I want everything to be uniform because it doesn't make sense for there to be dirt on a car and not the tires. But who knows what your reasoning may be. And also, if I'm not mistaken, they also have detailed interiors. The doors and stuff don't open, but the interior itself is detailed. So I think that is like amazing as well. But yeah, man, that's like the beauty of this. The animations are really simple. The animations are like very simple. And then you have this ability to uh, just modify the vehicle in, in ways that you couldn't do with traffic. I mean, in ways that you couldn't do with um, transportation or with car teleporter. Car teleporter, you can, you know, open the doors. Um, oh, another thing that's really dope about this is, let me show you too is the ability to change the colors of your vehicle. It's like, it's just a click of a button, you know? And car teleporter, you had to go into your nodes and do shading and all of this stuff, but not, with, not here, we don't. You can do clear coat. If you want it to be matte, you just drop your clear coat, remove the clear coat, and then, if I'm not mistaken, that's matte, isn't it? I like the Michelin on the tires. Like, there's just, I just really love the traffic plugin. I mean, the add on. At first, I had some issues with it. I didn't know how to utilize it properly. And, um, but after some trial and error, I was able to figure it out on my own. You know, no kudos to the team because I reached out to them, but no one <laughs> responded to me. So, but uh, I just want to see what this looks like from the rear. I want to see what it looks like from the back. Let's increase the clear, see the no clear coat, hella clear coat. Ooh, that's nasty with the flakes in it. And then bring the clear coat up. And let's, let's just zoom in a little bit more. Uh, shift control zero and then F12. Yeah. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this uh, brief tutorial and you guys start utilizing the traffic add-on and bringing your car animations or, you know, just your scene together even better than before. Check it out. Make sure you add it. Follow me. You guys have a great day. Stay 